Parallel lines cut by a transversal. Parallel lines are coplanar lines that do not intersect. Arrows on lines are used to indicate that those lines are parallel. Transversal is a line which intersects two or more lines at different points. Line T is a transversal of lines B and D. Angles formed, exterior angles, interior angles, same side angles. Angles 1, 2, 7, and 8 are exterior angles. Angles 3, 4, 5, and 6 are interior angles. Same side angles. Angle 1, angle 3, angle 5, angle 7. On the other side, same side angles are angle 2, angle 4, angle 6, and angle 8. Corresponding angles. A pair of non adjacent interior and exterior angles on the same side of the transversal. Corresponding angles are angle 2 and angle 6, angle 4 and angle 8, angle 1 and angle 5, angle 3 and angle 7. Same side interior angles. Interior angles on the same side of the transversal. The same side interior angles are angle 4 and angle 6, angle 3 and angle 5. Alternate interior angles. A pair of non-adjacent interior angles on opposite sides of a transversal. The alternate interior angles are angle 4 and angle 5, angle 3 and angle 6. Alternate exterior angles. A pair of non-adjacent exterior angles on opposite sides of a transversal. The alternate exterior angles are angle 1 and angle 8, angle 2 and angle 7. Refer to the figure at the right. Identify a transversal. Line K. Identify a pair of parallel lines. Line H and line G. Identify a pair of corresponding angles. It can be angle 1 and angle 3, angle 2 and angle 4, angle 5 and angle 7, angle 6 and angle 8. Identify a pair of alternate interior angles. The possible answers are angle 2 and angle 7, angle 6 and angle 3. Identify a pair of alternate exterior angles. The possible answers are angle 1 and angle 8, angle 5 and angle 4. Identify a pair of same side interior angles. The possible answers are angle 6 and angle 7, angle 2 and angle 3. Postulate a statement that is assumed true without proof. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then corresponding angles are congruent. 
angle 1 is congruent to angle 3 angle 2 is congruent to angle 4 angle 5 is congruent to angle 7 angle 6 is congruent to angle 8 if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal then alternate interior angles are congruent angle 2 is congruent to angle 7 angle 6 is congruent to angle 3 if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal then same side interior angles are supplementary angle 2 and angle 3 are supplementary the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 equals 180 angle 6 and angle 7 are supplementary the measure of angle 6 plus the measure of angle 7 equals 180 theorem a true statement that can be proven if a transversal is perpendicular to one of two parallel lines then it is perpendicular to the other line if line K is perpendicular to line H, then line K is perpendicular to line G. Find the measure of each numbered angles. The measure of angle 6, 70 degrees. The measure of angle 4. 110 degrees measure of angle 5 110 degrees find the measure of angle 1 solution Corresponding angles are congruent. 3x plus 33 equals 5x minus 15. Simplify using the properties of equality. 3x minus 5x equals negative 15 minus 33. 3x minus 5x is negative 2x. Negative 15 minus 33 is negative 48. Divide both sides by negative 2. X equals 24. Substitute 24 for X. 3X plus 33 equals 3 times 24 plus 33 equals 105 degrees. Since angle 1 is a supplement of this angle, the measure of angle 1 is equal to 180 minus 105 the measure of angle 1 is equal to 75 degrees